Welcome back to another Historic Fashion Tutorial by Burnley and Trowbridge. Today we will demonstrate attaching buttons, both metal and cloth. To attach metal buttons with a tape or a cord, first open a hole in the fabric with an awl wide enough to push the shank of the button through to the back of the fabric. Run a tape or cord through the shank. This is sometimes easier said than done. If you are having difficulty threading your tape, you might try using a needle like a bodkin, or if that doesn't work, attach the tape to your needle by whipping the end of the tape to the eye of the needle so you're only pulling through one layer of tape or cord instead of two. Once you have threaded the tape or cord through the shank, repeat this process for the next button. Secure your tape by whipping down the edges. This method is recommended by Cuthbertson for military coats in particular because of its durability, but can also be used on civilian clothing with metal buttons. For cloth buttons, mark the center point where the button should be attached and begin by pulling your thread up through the back of the fabric at that point. Take a stitch near the edge of the button before putting the needle back down through the fabric at your mark. Tension your thread at this point by aligning the center of the button to the center of the mark. Do not pull your stitch completely tight to the fabric. Leave a little slack. Then take another stitch near the opposite edge of the button and sink the needle back through. Adjust the tension of the thread to keep the center of the button hovering over the center mark on your fabric. Continue to take two to three more stitches in this manner around the circumference of the button, maintaining proper tension on the thread to keep the button centered on your mark. Once the button is secured, tightly wrap your thread around the base to create a shank for your button. Sink the needle back down through the fabric and secure on the back side. This treatment can be used to attach thread buttons as well and is seen on all variety of men's clothing in the 18th and early 19th century as well as on ladies' riding habits. Thank you for joining us for this week's Historic Fashion Tutorial Series. For more tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook. Until then, happy sewing!